But before that, a move to reduce delays on passenger trains across the country is being trialled in Northamptonshire. If it's successful, it'll mean the end of slower diesel freight trains on the tracks, which should also help towards net zero carbon emissions, as Graham Lewis has been finding out. Unloading from a freight train alongside the Midland Main Line just outside Wellingborough. However, this is different because the train is electric. The reason why that's a challenge within the current system uh, is that we load and offload trains uh, from the top. Doing so under overhead lines safely is very challenging. With the push of a button, this new system being trialled here allows the high voltage cables to be moved out of the way. You don't need to use diesel trains, you can use electric trains. They get all the benefits of the electric trains, but the disadvantages of having electrification in their depot are literally moved out of the way by the mechanism. Using electric freight trains will be kinder to the environment, but also kinder to passengers, reducing delays and improving journey times. You get more capacity on a line and you get trains moving quickly, you're less likely to be delayed and, and eventually you can end up with more passenger trains on that line because the freight's moving through quicker. Our services do run through uh, train stations, they obviously run past people's houses. So whilst rail freight now, even with diesel engines, is still much more environmentally friendly than moving everything by road, uh, by being able to electrify services it becomes a much cleaner and greener railway. It's hoped this development can be rolled out to freight depots across the country as part of a drive to get rid of diesel on the railways within 20 years. Graham Lewis, ITV News, Wellingborough.